Hello again, Futura Facebook fans. This is Virginia again with my second video. A uh, couple of things uh, I wanted to talk to you today about is uh, I'm going to let you hear the sound of the machine so you can hear the different clunking and whatnot. Also, I'll probably stop in the middle of this video because I'm waiting for my um, thread to get here and it should be here any minute. But one of the things I wanted to share with you right away is when you lift this um, hoop, or uh, I'm sure it's easier for the bigger hoop because you could slide the hoop in. As with this one, you actually have to put it in the track right here first before this part even gets underneath the, the foot. You lift the foot up and slide this in and as you can see I've got this all the way up and it's still hitting that foot so you gotta be kinda uh, I, I usually take my thumb I don't know if you can see this but I push it up with my thumb ow that hurt push up with my thumb and I grab my middle finger and just lift it up just enough and I can slide it in um, I read several posts where the pins in here, there's three pins, and someone um, had broke off their pin. And I can certainly see how easy that is to do. So I'm very, uh, very careful when I pull this out. Um, you push this little lever back in here. I start sliding this out very easily. Oh, see, now it comes straight out. That's a mind of its own. Slide it back in, lift that up just a little bit, listen for the click, and then you've got it. Okay, it's really important to hang on to the thread when you start um, this machine. Once it starts going da -da 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 a little bit, then you can stop it. And don't be afraid to hit this button. It doesn't matter how many times you do it it'll pick up right back where it's, where it's um, left off. Another thing that uh, a lot of people are asking is, if you do have to take the hoop off because you're having a problem with the bobbin, putting the hoop back on and needing to back up to where you were when the problem first started, you just press this button right here. You gotta make sure the foot is down. And it will back up I have a little stippling design in here right now, and it'll just keep backing up to the point where you need it to, um, uh, where, where you need to go get back to to start it again. Okay, there was a couple of questions I wrote down here in my notes. Um, oh, the errors. Sometimes um, it'll tell me that this foot is not. Um, down. Machine stops, starts flashing red, and the error on, or the note, the message on your screen says that the foot is not down. Well, I know the foot is down, so what I've been doing is I just kind of lift it back up, lift it back down, and I just go about hitting it, um, starting it up again. Um, also, um, I've had errors where it says it's the wrong hoop size. I just click the OK button on the message on the screen, hit my green button, and voila, it starts working again. Does not work like that every time, but I have gotten away with it several times so far. Uh, I believe. Nope, I'm hearing things. Um, oh! Um, when you're doing um, uh, working with fuzzy material, if you're working with uh, a flannel or a towel, um, you need to have um, a stabilizer on top. And I've seen quite a bit of these sold, but I watched a video a while back, and a lady says she uses this, the Glad Press and Seal. I hope you're getting that on the... Yeah, you are. Um, I was walking down the aisle uh, the other day before my machine got here, and I spotted this, and I just grabbed it. 
because I know I work with a lot of flannel because I like to do a lot of baby blankets and whatnot. And you know, I did it. I pulled this off. I put it on top and it worked just beautifully. I did uh, grab the blanket real quick and show you what I did. I can't find the blanket. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry I'm so unorganized. No matter how much I prepare for these viewings, um, this is it. And I wasn't as tickled with this. The lettering would, should have been bigger. It can be red, but the point I'm making here is that press and seal worked just beautifully. Okay, I'm going to wait for my thread to arrive here, and then I'll continue with this.